Okay, so I wanted to show you here the, uh, the polar axis part of the telescope here, which is a piece of six inch square section standard structural steel tubing, um, three eight seven inch thick here on the wall thickness. It's actually thicker than it really needs to be. There will be, in fact, a steel shaft two inch diameter that goes through here on some spacers that provides a mounting surface for everything. Um, at the far end of this, by the way, the um, so I'll show you the the north polar axis bearing will be this um, 120 millimeter Naichi bearing here, which will sit over here. And there's an adapter and a mount that this fits into, and then a, a water jet cut holder for this bearing here that goes onto the structural part. And there's a piece of stub shafting and a two inch steel shaft on the end of that, which forms the south the south polar bearing. The declination bearing here is actually just a single bearing. This is hollow all the way through right now. Um, so there's only one bearing in here, but it's what's called a cross roller bearing, or sometimes called a slew ring bearing. It's a, a ring with um, a set of rollers that are sort of in an X shape, and that way it's stiff in all directions. So they can oppose loads in all directions. It's a very preci precise bearing. There's, these are used in heavy machinery and robots. Um, there's a worm wheel here that uh, is on a stub axle. There's about a four inch diameter solid aluminum stub. This is a little short axle that comes up here and mounts to this um, adapter plate, which then goes to this astrophysics dovetail mount plate, which has this nice feature here that the telescope has a dovetail mount for it, and, the, and so the telescope will sit in this volume here on the dovetail mount so it can be adjusted for position. And of course, there's a standard um, worm here and block, which will engage with the, the worm wheel. These are uh, buyers, a buyer's worm wheel here, and there's another one for polar axis. And that'll provide the drive force, and then the, there'll be a little mechanism, a little pulley mechanism that comes out to the motor that'll sit over here. So that's basically the um, drive design and the mount for polar axis. This housing was uh, water jet cut from solid uh, three-quarter inch plate here in Seattle and machined locally. Um, the stub axle was just machined out of uh, billet stock. Um, this lower plate here was also water jet cut and, and not machined, just, just uh, ground. Um, so it's actually pretty simple. There's adapters that would go in here. They're also water jet cut and had just very simple machining done on them. So minimum amount of machining, um, but uh, pretty high level of stiffness is what we expect to get from this. And also just for reference, this is one of the counterweights. So to counterbalance the weight of the telescope, there will be a set of these plates that will be on a uh, extender on a piece of uh, four inch square section steel tubing that will be on the other side of this tube here. And so this will sit down. Below there, there will be a couple of little steel posts that stick through and so these can stack on those steel posts.